Well, this is a different kind of design than what a lot of people have in their cars because I call it a hydrogen pump basically because it's mounted down here. And why is it there? Keep it cool? Keep it cool. And normally they would just... So that, that PVC thing in here is... Has that's your stainless steel plates in it yep. with positive and negative feeds. Hmm. And then I have the reservoir with the water in up here. And it's got three lines on it. One on the top where the gas comes out and goes into the throttle body. Uh, the middle one in the middle of the container is where the gas comes out and then bubbles up through the water. It's called a bubbler. Hmm. And then the feed is on the very bottom, which gravity feeds it down into one end and the gas pumps out the other end. It's just, uh, I don't know why it does that. Uh, well, I just gas has got to rise. Put it in there and it came out uh, that direction. You could reverse the hose if it didn't, but it just happened to work the first time. It's got 12 Stainless one steel. and a half inch plates separated by a sixteenth of an inch um, with fiber washers between them and they're nine inches long. We had problems, a couple problems with the fuse, but now this wasn't blowing yesterday afternoon. We're going to start it up, let's see if you got bubbles. And I don't. Six to eight miles a gallon. It is. There's bubbles coming up and right that's there. that's the hydrogen coming out. You can see the bubbles going through the tube right down here. Is that tube? See, and then they come up through this water. They bubble through this water. It's anti-flashback trap. Anti-flashback, what does that so mean? So that the gas, if, if you would get a spark back through or anything, it can't travel through this water and blow up my unit down there. Gotcha. See, and that's how I fill it. And I had to run around with that open one time, so I didn't get an accurate test. Why did you do that? Well, because I was just... Like you said, you're excited. <laughs> it's like, it's exciting. thing worked out here. Now, what, what is the, what is the uh, kind of water that goes in there? It's not tap water, is it? No, this here in here is distilled water. And it has a couple granules of sodium hydroxide in it, which uh, is lye. You, which would put in a drain to clean a drain. So that that's actually a, if there is any mineral in the electrolyte. Okay. Yeah, it makes the electricity goes through the water, and that's what causes the current. So much current, uh, because the solution may be a little bit too strong. So I'll have to put just a little straight water in there. Look at the bubbles coming through here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. That's all hydrogen. How do you get into the throttle body, Wayne? Just I just drilled a hole. <laughs> In there. It's got to be before the throttle plate. It's a stupid question, but you had to ask. It. <laughs> is there some great, you know, no, just drill No, uh, it's, the, the hydrogen has got to be it's injected like into the motor through your carburetor <laughs> before the throttle plate. Your engine, Yo, Wait, so, so where's the throttle plate then? It would be on this pivot right here. Okay. That's like the butterfly. Throttle body, right? Your yep. choke. So you just put it in there, and it goes directly into the motor when it runs. So what this is doing is this hydrogen gas, it's HHO gas, it's hydrogen and pure oxygen, is going into the motor and it enhances the combustion. Is what it does, it tells your computer, hey, I got fuel coming from somewhere else, shut down the gasoline a little bit. Hmm. So, oh, wow. that's so, what, so that's that's actually with the existing computer system of the car. Yeah. So you didn't have to do anything with the computer no, system. No, but I can, and it'll even enhance it more. And that's taking the oxygen sensors out of the stream. They make a little extension about this long. You screw them in. You can put them out of the stream, and then it actually works even a lot better. Hmm. And the byproduct to this gas coming in here is water. There's no emissions. It's good for the motor. Why do you guys? Why do you guys think that this is not something that's been done before now, given it's given it's as simple as it is? Because fuel, I mean, it fuel said, wasn't up to four dollars a gallon. That would make you go. You know what? 
I gotta do something different. 